contacted the I team after getting call after call from someone claiming to be with the IRS. Normally, she just hangs up and ignores them, but this time she pressed the caller for answers and got it all on tape. I'm sorry, do what? And that's just the start of Pamela Todd's conversation with a man who says he's from the IRS. Um, I've got a message for me to give you a call back. How can I help you? The caller talked continuously for about four minutes, his line almost inaudible. The accent is so heavy you can barely understand you know, what they're talking about. Well, you, you're calling and you're threatening me. First, I would like to know you are threatening me. You are threatening me. Todd says he explained she owes thousands of dollars in back taxes, and if she doesn't pay via credit card, he will send notice to the, quote, local courthouse to arrest her. You're saying that you sent me a letter, and I just chose not to respond. How, do, how was this letter sent? The letter was sent in uh, like uh, June 2014, and we have a USPS tracking number. It can be kind of scary, and I just wanted to get the word out there and don't fall for this because they're asking for very large denominations of money. So we spoke with a tax professional to find out what would really happen if you owed Uncle Sam. The IRS never calls people. They will send a letter, and you'll recognize that letter when you get it. Here's what a letter from the IRS looks like. If you owe taxes, the letter explains why the IRS is saying you owe taxes. And uh, usually the first letter that goes out, it'll say you reported this, and this is what we show, and here's the difference. Although you don't need to worry too much about a caller demanding money, you should take note if they spout off personal information. They could be taking your individual information and actually be speaking from the return. If you do get a similar IRS phone call that worries you, authorities say you should ask for the employee's name, badge number, and the callback number. Also take note of the number on the caller ID. Then report the scam to the Treasury Inspector General. That number is 1-800-366-4484. But again, if it's a phone call, don't answer it. If you answer it and they say they're from the IRS, hang up before they start cursing at you. There's been a, a few phone calls where it's you know, become a shouting match. No, you must pay this. You must pay it now. Todd's conversation with this possible IRS imposter comes after numerous calls and voicemails like it. I think there's an influx right now. I've never experienced this before in my life. Annoyance, definitely, definitely. Just to see the, the 202 number, it's, ugh, again, really? Yeah. The IRS says if you answer once, the scammers may try to call you again using different tactics and even different phone numbers. They may also try to reach you by email, which is also likely a scam. But the IRS reminds you it will never ask for personal payment information over the phone or by email. For more information about this scam and others like it, you can find my story on CountOn2.com. In the studio, Libba Holland, News 2. If you have something you want the I-Team to investigate, you can email us at it 